Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Today we're going to be doing, um, turning over a new leaf and delivery to the Watchtower. But first, let's explore around town. I jotted down the recipe for the porridge. Oh, well, great. Awesome. Well, yeah, make sure you talk to her to get that, uh, extra recipe. And then let's head on out into the town and, well, it's loosely called a town. I'll probably call it a town or a village. It's really a settlement, a nomadic Mongolian settlement yurt thing. But anyway, we want to go into the doctor's home and talk to him for our first quest. Oh, hey there, Gaius. I see your friends from the academy here, too. Good to meet you all. I'm Amir, the settlement's doctor of sorts. Yeah, he is probably a tough job. Yeah, he, okay, so he makes all sorts of medicine for essentially everybody here in the settlement, so we're all heavily indebted to him. Okay, well, thanks. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so if it's all right with you, can we move on to the topic of my request now? Allow me to explain then. In the middle of whipping up some medicine for the horses here, you see, I'd like you to collect a medicinal herb that I need for that. Are the horses ill? No, nothing like that. It's more of a vaccine to prevent a certain disease the horses here can catch. So it's an endemic disease then. Yeah, the chances of the disease spreading are always in their highest during the summer too because of the intense heat. It's dangerous enough to be fatal if we left it alone. That's awful. You can prevent it with a proper treatment, however, correct? Yeah, which is why I needed to collect some epona grass for me. Just look for some plants with yellow flowers in the southern region of the highlands. Okay, so if we need five things of grass, all found in the southern highlands, and they are just have yellow leaves, and they're really easy to spot because um, not only do they have yellow leaves and everything else has purple leaves, but because they're marked with a red exclamation point on the map. So that makes it really nice and easy for us. Uh, next thing that I want to do is go into, let's see, which house do I want to go into? Uh, yeah, we'll go into the trading post, why not? Go in here for our optional quest. This is our settlement store. They've recently started selling Erebonian weapons and tools from Zender Gate to hunt with. Seems like we'll be using this place a lot while we're here. They seem to have a wealth of traditional accessories and ornaments from Nord, too. Indeed, they're all rather lovely. I might come back by myself later. Pretty sure I'll be able to find a nice souvenir here. Oh? And just who exactly are you sending that souvenir to? My sister. I thought it'd be a good way to get on a good side for once. We rarely get to see each other anymore since she started attending St. Estrella. Oh. Right. I forgot that you also had a little sister. I'm somewhat jealous that sh she is such a thoughtful brother. Well, that's nice of him. Okay, so what's your quest? Yeah, very popular. Happy to see that. Okay, so yeah, here's the request. As you can see, we've got a respectable range of stock here. We even trade with people outside the settlement. That said, the delivery that I want you to make isn't really related to any of that. Do you have the time to do it right now? Sure. Okay. So you want us to deliver something to the Imperial Army's Watchtower. What exactly will we be delivering? Well, first there's this fresh cheese made from our sheep's milk, then there's some cured and smoked sheep meat. Furthermore, so essentially, you wish for us to deliver food to them. All of which was made here, too. Yeah, that's right. We've been on friendly terms with the Imperial Army for a while now, you see. Sharing our produce with them is essentially our way of saying thank you. Considering how delicious the food here is, I'm almost jealous. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I have to agree with her there. Who should we deliver this to, then? A soldier named Zat should be standing by the entrance of the Watchtower, so hand it over to him. Just tell him that I sent you and things to go over smoothly. Here you go. Don't worry, we'll make sure they get it. We'll head over there as soon as we can. Awesome. So also, from here, you can buy a lot of stuff here. Um, all new weapons, some really nice armor for them as well, some cool shoes. Um, but I can't afford any of it, so I'm going to be doing some um, battling and things like that off screen. But I also want to buy the uh, Carnelia Report and the Imperial Chronicle for the end slate. So I have to do a lot of battling to gain up all that money to buy all that stuff. And I'm go also going to synthesize the weapons too. So it'll probably take me a good half an hour or so to get all that done. But I think that it's worth it. Let's see, where am I headed off to now? Um, I wanted to go to, I went to the, oh, the Elder's Home. Yeah. I've returned. Welcome back, Gaius. Allow me to welcome your school friends too. I see you all got plenty of rest last night. It wasn't that hard after the warm welcome that we received. We may not be here long, but we hope to learn much from the people of Nord. Well, we're pleased to have you all here. I 
It's Nord tradition to treat our visitors like family, so please make yourselves at home here. Yes, you'll also find a facility for orbit maintenance here. Feel free to use it as much as you need. Oh, well, awesome. Yeah, so we can uh, do slots and things like that. We can synthesize our weapons here. So it does seem kind of out of place, I've got to say. So you're welcome to come by should you need anything. I'll be praying to the winds and audio so you have a pleasant, comfortable stay. Well, thanks. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, I agree there. So, we've talked to everybody that I want to talk to here. Let's go out to the North Highland South. Okay, then, let's get started. All right, let's ride. Yeah, so you press the O button to get off the horse. You want to use the X button to mount it again. From the navigation map screen, you can just use the triangle if you're out just wandering around and you run into monsters the exact same way as usual. So anyway, I'm going to um, gain some gold and meet you back in a minute. I went and I got my shopping done. Took me about an hour's worth of uh, leveling up and, um, you know, getting gold and all that to do it. But I think it's worth it. Enemy sighted! Take him out! Okay, here we have some my new turn. enemies. Let's see what we got here. The Grasshopper, a relatively docile monster that subsists off grass. Or do you think so until the kid stands in your face? Yeah, that's just lovely. Uh, but we can take care of these guys pretty easily, especially now yeah. that we have our new, um... I got you! Our new, uh, weapons and everything. Yeah. They, these guys can go down fast. Yeah. These guys are pretty much your yeah. stereotypical weak enemies yeah. uh, here. Yeah. They're just, you know, nothing really, uh... Battle's over, but yeah, stay nothing alert, really to everyone. say about them. They can blind you with their grass. That's about it. But they're... I wouldn't even worry about them. And yeah. let's go over here. Ooh, there's some yellow grass. Yeah, we need that. That's the uh, opponent grass from, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda, of course. I actually did not like advantage. Ocarina of Time. I've played here we go. Zelda, um, I played uh, Zelda 2, and I actually there. somewhat enjoyed <laughs> Zelda 2 for the NES. Played Link to the Past, that was amazing. It's my turn. And then all the 3D Zeldas, you know, call me old school, yeah. but I do yeah. not like them at all. I hated Ocarina yeah. at time. I couldn't get past yeah. like the Dark World. Uh, I it's hated Wind Waker. I couldn't yeah. get past the very first pirate hideout, like the tutorial. tutorial area. I could not do it. It was too difficult for me. Um, I'm not good at platforming. If you've watched my Wild Arms 4 Let's Play, you know that I am terrible at platforming. It's just god awful how bad I am. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't even try Twilight Princess or um, the other one, Skyward Sword. Especially Skyward Sword because, um, you know, that, that has that motion controls on the Wii. And ugh, who the hell wants yeah. to do that? I hate motion controls. They're god awful. Uh, the only game that I really played with motion controls, with, with the god, I can't even speak now, with motion controls was um, the Dragon Quest Swords game on the Wii. Here's our second opponent grass, so just turn around. Move it, Epona! <laughs> I mean, I know enough about Zelda 64 to know that the horse is, is named Epona, but that's pretty much all that I really know about uh, the horse. I got to the point where you, like, you can race it around and all that, oh, but there seems to be a not treasure much. Chest here. Uh, do I have to get off to get the treasure chest? Let's get going! Oh, get me Let's the get going! Uh, dismount. Let's get the chest. There we go! Oh, look at this guy! My Holy turn. crap! Um, let's see, we'll use an autumn leaf cutter. Yeah, we can probably get a lot of the guys here. Man, tons of enemies there. here. Holy shit! Okay, Go. let's use our rush Leave attack. It to me. Leave it to me. It's my turn. Uh, let's see what, what else we can do here. We'll use a, um, a molten rain attack. Get all these other guys. A rhino sight. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, Stop right there. Have to check him out. If it actually even gets to Emma's turn. Ooh, hopefully not. Now. That one here is nice. Yeah. Um, it's my yeah. turn. Well, let's go ahead and attack Analyzing the guy. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. And let's see what else we got Leave going on here. Uh, a monster covered by hardened skin. It's powerful charge attacks are strong enough to topple orbital cards. Really? Okay, uh, we'll use a Turbulence that should be able to get, yeah, all of these guys. There we go. Oh, is that Together. it? Sweet! We're unbeatable. Yeah, not bad at all. That guy was just big. Ooh, nice. What else do I get? Okay, three turns of 20 power of strength. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Ooh, and another U-Material. I'm nice. actually going to need that. 
Um, I didn't realize that now that you are able to synthesize, you know, more weapons and things like that, as each level goes up in your synthes in your synthesizing, Let's get going. Um, it costs more U material to synthesize. So, for example, the first time that you synthesize something, yeah. um, it only costs one U material. The second time, two U materials, and I'm up to the to the point where it now costs four U materials in order to uh, synthesize. Get away from me! I don't want to fight you. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading over towards those highlands to get more opponographs and more treasures. And then I'm actually going to meet you back over by the, uh, I guess by the entrance to the village. It's a little bit, it's kind of where the entrance of the village path ends. Oh, you're new. Let's fight you, little anteater guy. We'll have to fight our way through. It's my turn. Let's see what we got going on here. A brutal infant. Okay, just attack it. Um, I do want to see if I can't right. detect him. So I'm going to try to keep one alive for detection. My turn. Okay, perfect. It's my so turn. Go ahead and detect the guy. Analyzing the enemy. And then we'll kill him next turn. Yeah, nothing really to be it's concerned about here. Let's see what we got here. An infant buffalo monster gains the ability to move freely within hours of birth, joining a herd on its own. There's also a uh, a pretty Take rare care. monster. We're unbeatable. Here, I might have to show it to you. Um, monster book. I encountered it whenever I was doing all that grinding for gold. Um, if I don't encounter it naturally, I'll just show it to you then. It's kind of like a blue flying fish thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, there's like an ostrich or an emo over there. I'll have to check that one out, too. But yeah, getting back to Zelda, I like 2D Zelda games. I, I played the Game Boy, the Ocarina of Seasons, the Ocarina of Time ones. Um, I, I enjoyed Minish Cap. Um, Although those DS Zelda games can go die in a fire. Those things are horrible. But, um, yeah, as far as the, the console ones, I am not a fan at all. Um, I wish, wish that they would go back to just, you know, regular, traditional 2D Zelda. That would be awesome. Analyzing the so we have an ostrich here. I was, I was right the first time I said an ostrich or an emu, right? I think I did at least. I don't know. My memory's going, guys. I'm getting old. Whoa! Oh, we're gonna get a, another Brady point soon, so we can use another dual attack. That'll be nice. Uh, oh, I have zero arts, but I don't really care because I would rather just use another leaf cutter. Get these guys down. It's my turn. And actually, let's check them out and see what we got going on here. A strange bird that races around a non-paved non plane. Its breath allows it to petrify. Holy shit! It's prey. Um, I don't want to be petrified. I've dealt with cockatrices in my time, and I really don't feel like dealing with a cockatrice now, especially in this game, where the monsters are pretty easy. I mean, this isn't the Ice Cave. This is the Nord Highlands. Come on, get it right. Okay, so we've got this one guy left. We should take him out relatively quickly. Yeah. And come on, Emma. You can do it. Sweet. We should Somebody blinded them. Somebody must have a blind um, quartz on them. That gives like a percentage chance of blinding because that was pretty nice actually. They missed everything. Ugh. Can I get it on the horse? That would just be amazing. Sweet. Okay, so I didn't have to get off the horse the first the first time. The game was just being a pain in the ass with its controls. I'm, I'm, I guess it took a page or a page yeah. out of the book of uh, Popo Lacroix of having pain in the ass, annoying controls. Are you a new enemy? I think so. Let's fight you. It on. Yeah, this guy looks new. He turn. just looks big. We'll use another. What is he? A brutal buffer. So he's not a, the infant buffer. He's a brutal buffer. It's my turn. Uh, let's go ahead and detect him as well. There we go. Leave let's check him out. See what we got going on. A buffalo monster that's always on the move across highlands, mostly docile but fiercely territorial. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll use another turbulence on him. Whirlwind. Yeah. The nice thing about being able to grind up that much is. Oh Emma. shit, I probably shouldn't use the rush attack. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We'll get to see the rush attack in this too. There you go. The nice thing is that it got every <laughs> CP easy. up. And also it made us a little bit more powerful so that we can take out these monsters a lot quicker rather than, you know, sitting in battle for five minutes on end. So just keep on going this way. Yeah! And we're... Isn't this the way to... This path leads to the stone circle yeah. we saw yesterday. Yeah, so anyway, 
uh, now that I lost my train of thought because they were blabbing on and on. Let's see, where else do I need to go? Uh, we've got the treasures there. Okay, so there's another treasure over here that I want to grab before I go up towards the stone circle because there's some grass up by the stone circle. Oh, please, I don't want to fight you. Ah! A large monster. You need to be careful. Ooh, a saintly horse. Nice. Okay, so let's keep on yeah. moving. Then also the nice thing about this horse is that the um, the monsters really can't catch up to you. They, not only can they not catch up to you, but they can't... Um, I, I don't think that the, like, their pathing is uh, made for it, if, if you know what I mean. It's like Stonehenge. I've been to Stonehenge before in uh, England. It was really nice. Really cool. Wow, they look even bigger up close. So this is the stone circle we saw on the way to the settlement yesterday. I'm still surprised by the size. Well, like I said yesterday, these were supposed to be placed here over a thousand years ago. Some say this used to be some kind of ceremonial site, but we don't know much more than that. I can't help but wonder how they could possibly build something like this without the use of modern technology. I think it's a sense of mystery that really enchants people. Huh, well, you don't say. Anyway, I'm not really here to be enchanted. I am here to get some more Eponograss. There it is, right there. Okay, so now that I have this grass, I am going to cut and then meet you over by the uh, village entrance. Yeah, I went to uh, England yeah. back in 2010 for about three weeks or so. Uh, I saw Harrods, I went to the British National Museum, uh, went and saw Stonehenge, and all sorts of stuff there in London. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a beautiful city. If you ever get the chance to go to Europe, I highly, highly recommend it. Although, I would say that the British could use with, you know, free refills on their soda, and whenever you order, you know, french fries actually giving you ketchup and not charging you a pound more just for ketchup, that really pissed me off. Uh, did I get all the treasures over here? Yeah, there's really no treasures over here, so yeah, just keep on going this way. Over towards the uh, watchtower. Is this the way to the watchtower? Whoa. Yeah, just keep heading along this path. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll do as you say. Head on inside. So this is the Imperial Army's watchtower. Seems like they've got the bare minimum in terms of facilities and armaments. Still, it does have that imposing look you'd expect from a military base, though the atmosphere doesn't seem especially tense. The building itself appears relatively new as well. Well, yeah, it was only built around three years ago. Bare minimum or not, it still kind of looks out of place here on the highlands. Anyway, let's go get a better look inside. Okay, sure. Yeah. And you can actually dash with rain just using the R1 button. You don't have to use the horse to dash, so... That's something to uh, keep in mind. Awesome, we get the Red Moon Rose, uh, Chapter 6. I'll show that during the end slate as well, so we'll have a pretty long end slate today. We'll have the end slate for um, the Carnelia and the Red Moon, Red Moon Rose. Uh, so be sure to stick around uh, for that. And also, if I don't show off that one enemy, I'll try my hardest to remember to um, show it during the end slate as well, but eh, we'll see if we run into it or not. Okay, so just talk to this guy, because this this is the delivery quest. Hand over that food parcel, and he's going to show us the view from the top. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see what we can't see. Oh, wow. So that's the Republican Army's base. That's the one, though, as you can tell. It's not exactly a massive outpost. For one thing, the bulk of their forces are made up of tanks, and tanks don't do too hot up here on the highland terrain. That's true. And yet, they built a base up here anyway, just to keep up appearances. It's like a staring match between two stubborn children. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. Still, lately, we've had airships with both armies cruising around here, so we can't let our guard down too much either. Still, if you ask me, the chance of anyone starting a war in a place like this is pretty near zero. Anyway, relax and enjoy the view while you're here. Chances like this don't come along every day, after all. Thanks for showing us the way. We're grateful. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll give the wine back to Kilt. Why not? Oh, 
Well, everybody seems to be really nice to each other back to, uh, up here. You know, whenever you have a little, you give a lot. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's just head on out of here. I was going to say I'll meet you outside, but eh, let's it's get going. nothing just to head on yeah. out there without, rather than cutting. Um, I don't mind cutting and editing. It doesn't bother me. I, I think that it makes the video yeah. go faster and more fluid whenever you do cut. It's all in the editing. Um, but little things like this I don't think are particularly necessary to cut. So anyway, we're just gonna, whoa, go down here and then turn our horse around so I don't, you know, get lost. So I want to make sure that I'm going the right way and hitting the wrong buttons as usual. Let's go over here for whoa. me. Okay, Epona, you're getting on my last yeah. nerve. Go over here for a treasure. Get a soft stole. And then over here for some um, some more Epona grass. Let's see. Okay, we've already seen that little flying dragon guy, so I don't want to fight him. Sure. I don't even know why it asks you. Of course you want to pull it out. Makes five. Is that enough, Gaius? It is. Let's make our way back and hand him over to a mirror. We should get the back as soon as possible so we can help the horses. Agreed. Uh, no. <laughs> no! Well, now, since we got all five of those, um, all of yeah. the other little... Because there were multiple grasses out on the field, there were something like eight or nine of the grasses out on the field, but all the extraneous grasses have now vanished, and there are no more... Uh, red exclamation points for them. So all we have to do now is get some more treasure. So let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, there it is right over here. Okay, just grab that real quick. EP charge three. Okay, very nice. And let's see where I want to yeah. get to now. We need to start heading towards the uh, Zender gate. Let me just make sure that I'm doing everything. Ugh, if I don't start hitting that right button, I swear, I swear. Okay, so there's a treasure there, a treasure there, a treasure there. We just need to go around this bend over here, I believe. Yeah, but another thing, I was talking about this a little bit. Whenever you're on the horse, the monsters don't really recognize you. Um, the controls on the horse are bad enough so that you still kind of run into enemies, but the enemies don't chase you. And even if they did, you could totally outrun them. You're so fast on the horse. So it's really kind of nice. You can avoid monsters really easily if you don't want to have to fight them. Okay, so have we done it over here? Let me just double, triple check. Okay, I need to go this way for this treasure over here in the corner. I see it now. This reminds me of, um, what is it? It's uh, Final Fantasy 13. when you're on that other planet, Pulse. I think was the name of the planet? Uh-oh, oh, this a is a monster chest. That's a beautiful looking treasure chest. We'll have to fight our way through. Okay, well, hey. here we do have that monster that I was talking about, so let me just show you real quick uh, what it says. It's a Thunder Loach, and it has the ability to drop a U material, which is really nice. So anyway, this is it. I'm going to meet you whenever I kill this battle. And we got a Flame Tongue. From that chest, nice. I'll have to look at these uh, things off screen and equip them accordingly. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we have going on down here. Uh, I know that there's some more treasures. I just want to make sure that I'm. Whoa. Okay, so go straight south for a treasure, and then we're gonna head to west for the last treasure on this field. Yeah, this reminds me of Pulse because it's like. For the most part, you're doing a pretty linear quest in this game, and then all of a sudden this kind of drops you out of this huge to be field. A chest here. So, it's kind of nice. I actually liked Final Fantasy XIII. I know it wasn't um, the best Final Fantasy, but it really wasn't the worst. It was no Final Fantasy yeah. II or VIII. I hate God. I would rather pl play Final Fantasy II than play Final Fantasy VIII, because at least Final Fantasy II is over quicker. Final Fantasy VIII, ugh, it's so long and so frickin' boring, I can't stand it. So we'll go over here and get the last treasure on the map. There we go, awesome. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, we will head into Zender Gate. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.